Hey, this is Todd. I am a regular dude walking in the word. You ever been to uh, uh, like a baseball field and um, you're like sitting there watching a baseball game and you're talking with your friend, just uh, chit-chatting away there, not really paying attention. And all of a sudden, someone beside you goes, look out! And uh, you're like, oh, what? Well, the, the ball's coming and or, you know, uh, whatever. And you got to watch out because uh, the ball's coming. Um, or sometimes, you, you know, you might be running, let's say you're running on a track, um, and you're just running, and maybe you have your headphones in or something like that, and you're running, and uh, someone comes beside you and says, look out, you know, it's because, you know, there's other guys on the track, and you're just off in your own little world. Well, today, this episode is like that. It, um, it's, it's entitled, look out, someone is coming, okay, and you're going to see, this is a progression of prophecies given by Balaam and this is we're going to get into the fourth one and then the fifth and sixth and seventh one are really short after that um, but this fourth one is kind of what I want to focus on here today um, that you know we've seen the progression um, and we ended yesterday with like is there any doubt how the Lord loves his people okay so what can you say beyond that well you'll see here so let's read here today. This is taken from Numbers uh, chapter 24, verses 15 to 25. So it says this, and this is Balaam's fourth message. Then he spoke the, the, his message, okay? So this is, now, now we're at the point where Balak has asked him, uh, please go, because you're not saying what I wanted you to say. And so he says, you know, please go. And, uh, but Balak says, uh, Balaam says, oh, yeah, let me say something else to you before I go. You didn't ask for this, but you're going to get it anyway. Verse 15, then he spoke his message. The prophecy of Balaam, son of Beor. The prophecy of one whose eye sees clearly. The prophecy of one who hears the words of God. Who has knowledge from him, most high. Who sees a vision from the Almighty. Who falls prostrate and whose eyes are opened. He just described himself as now he's like, uh, seeing God, and now he's in deep respect for God here, okay? Verse 17. I see him, but not now. I behold him, but not near. A star will come out of Jacob. A scepter will rise out of Israel. He will crush the foreheads of Moab, the skulls of all the people of, of Shia. Edom will be conquered. Seir, his enemy, will be conquered. But Israel will go grow strong. A ruler will come out of Jacob and destroy the survivors of the city. Okay, you're asking yourself, what in the world is he talking about? Let me tell you what he's talking about. He's talking about the second coming of Jesus. Okay, not when Jesus came and he died on the cross and so forth. He's talking now about this second coming of Jesus when he will, you know, conquer all his enemies, really. Okay, he came initially, you know, to die on the cross and so forth. To save us, he will come again for judgment. And that's what it's talking about here. So, all right, let's move on here. There's five, uh, message five, six, and seven, okay? Balaam's fifth message. Then Balaam said to Amalek and spoke his message. Amalek wasn't asking for this, but they were getting it anyway. Amalek was the first among nations, but their end will be utter destruction. Bye-bye, Amalek. Uh, the sixth message from Balaam. This is uh, verse 21. Then he saw the Kenites and spoke his message. Your dwelling place is secure. Your nest is set in the rock. Yet you Kenites will be destroyed when Asher takes you captive. Okay. Um, so again, uh, these are neighbors uh, here. Uh, the Kenites, you know, stayed around for quite a while, though. But then eventually they were gone. All right. And then this is the last the seventh message, which is the last one. Verse 23. Then he spoke his message. Alas, who can live when God does this? Ships will come from the shores of Cyprus. They will subdue Asher and Eber, but they too will come to ruin. Then Balaam got up and returned home, and Balak went his way. Okay? And that ended, the, you know, all the things. We're, we're not done with uh, Balaam. He still is kind of underhanded and not committed to God. Um, but you saw the progression of the messages here. With that, the fourth message being the, the 
most important one, you know, the future coming of the Messiah um, that would um, destroy all his enemies, really. Okay, so um, keep that in mind. That's all, everything here. And then it, it talks about, like, all the neighbors there that uh, you're going to be destroyed, too. Um, that advice wasn't asked for, but it was given. All right. Hey, thank you for watching. I'm just a regular dude walking in the Word, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow as we now move out of kind of the story of Balaam into the Israel's journey um, in numbers here. Lord's blessing. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.